but it's kind of weird like i'm sure when you when you clicked on this video you're like this guy is not like he's being stupid like how can you do never ever ever alone like Roto, like who has done that never ever ever alone shouldn't it be like two three more people you should be doing it like Hey guys, welcome back part. to the Speak Life channel. My name is Patrick. And right here is your boy Gustavo. In this video, we're doing the Never Ever Ever Challenge with other YouTubers. So, yes, sir. we are asking them a few questions. We're getting to know each other more. And then, if you obviously you want to know more about us personally and more about them. So, if you want to enjoy all that movie, all that amazing experience, you better stay tuned until the end of this video. These are the YouTubers that are collabing with us in this video. What's up? It's your girl Mimi, aka Monica. Hi guys, it's your girl Faisha Yola, Mina, and with me, you know the vibes. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Noli's channel. But I'll be telling you nothing but the truth. So please subscribe, tune into my channel, tune into my channel, and watch me do that. Never have I ever. Let's do this. Now what's good YouTube? It's your boss up and I'm back once again guys with another banger for you. Cut it. Hold on. Hold on. Banger for you. Another banger. No cap real talk. I'm really excited for this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lindy Swa Aim. What's up guys? It's your boy John of the King. Welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's Rachel Ding and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So In this video. It's Angelo here. Today we're going to get this game. Never ever ever. It's going to be really tough. Yeah. So, anyways, let's get this video started. Question, guys. We answering it with full honesty. No lie. This is straight up. Never so, ever ever. Going straight to the so, first question. The first question says, um, "Never ever ever been caught cheating on a test." Bro, that's like me going to school with no draws. That's my thing, bro. <laughs> If you understand, you understand. You know. Here's what it is. Yeah, Mina. Let me tell you guys. I was once caught cheating on a test. I was in grade 10. Nah. Yeah. Me and caught? Nah. Yeah. I've never been caught, but. So you cheated? Yes. This when I was tiny, dude. I was, I was still in grade 1. I was still in grade 1. I mean, there was a test, and then that lady said that to us. Uh, you guys did accounting in grade 9 so can you please write the balance sheet statement for me i was like what Woo! let's get this started i don't even remember it i was like how are we going to do this me and my friend were like mgani mgani see your cop we are going to cheat on this one and we kept on looking for the paper for the format we found the format we copied the whole format and the teacher was like these two girls are brilliant i was good she's like so can you please do this format again i was like i can't do it and then that's when they got me good you know you girl bochita you were cheating on the test <laughs> ay, ay, ay. yes yes i have i have never 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 i was like i was like like yay never Few times in primary school, in primary school I did, and in high school, guys, we use the calculator in all the subject. Yes. Well, it was in elementary. I can't even spell that time. Spelling test. I used to get caught by writing on my hand. I was, I was one of those, my friend and I, my friend actually introduced me to this calculator thing. I never knew I did. I know this might sound funny or strange, but my friend and I, used to write answers at the back of the calculator. It's crazy though, but <laughs> we never been caught. <laughs> um, I'll say of course, who doesn't cheat in exam? I, I don't think I have because you know your girl is sleek and what no. Mm. <laughs> no, I'm just okay, I don't cheat but I've never been caught cheating in the test. Just but I've never got caught, you know. Uh, Big boy things you never get caught. You do it never. on a professional level though. No professional level of Keeping course. it straight up guys, you know. Clean. You never get caught. <laughs> I never got caught, by the way. I'm a Just imagine meaning caught is embarrassing. Very. Never have I ever sent a wrong message to a, a wrong person. <laughs> mm, a wrong message to a wrong person. Nope. 
nope I have like I sent the wrong message like I think it was to mom where well, I sent her something that was meant to be for my friend yeah yeah I was sending message to my friend and I sent it to a wrong person to another guy hmm let's look back Yeah, I mean you cannot have social media and you send it to the wrong person. Like it's it's an, it's everyone is done that yeah, but mine wasn't like that. Oh, uh, what everybody says. Oh, oh my my I sent the I sent I love you instead of me sending it to my girlfriend. I sent it to my mom. Nah, I won't lie. That has never happened to me because I keep my things on it now. You? Yeah. <laughs> wrong message to wrong person. I'm talking about a voice note, a voice note, somebody sending you a voice note explaining how the how it was, where she went, and then you're like, Ugh, let me send it to my other friend. And then I made a mistake. I sent it to the person who sent me the voice note. I was like, oh my God. I didn't even know how to explain it. I was like, it's a mistake. I don't know what happened. My phone just pressed itself. Yo. <laughs> Like it's a problem, my tata. Yes, I have, and it was very embarrassing. It was supposed to be a an explanation of something that went down, and it was just very embarrassing. And the guy was like, "Oh, no, do you understand? Like, very, very, very embarrassing." But yeah, never, never. Um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> yep, I did. Um, well, it was just it was just an incident where it happened. Where um, the, she's the the person sent me a message, right? So I wanted to to reply. You know that emoji that's put hands together. Mm. By mistake. Hey. Guess what I sent? A metal finger. <laughs> <laughs> I sent a metal finger, guys. You know, so I had a long explanation. That was yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm so used with my friend. I know. I I've seen wrong. A wrong message to a person already but yeah but it's not really a, a hardcore type of message that a message that you had to send someone and then you send it to your parents or nah. send it to but nah, you know it's but just that's... a chill message you know but... friend to friend and they'll be like what and then i'm like oh sorry this wasn't meant for you <laughs> i normally do that by the way i, I do that a lot thank, thank you to the new whatsapp that we're deleting now we are just deleting <laughs> never ever ever stolen something Mina. I did. I did steal something. I did stole something. I was, I think I was doing primary. Me and my sister, we used to steal the meat in the pot while they were still cooking it. Why? Why, precious? Why? <laughs> because my Because, because when they were dishing, at like late, they would give us small peas so we stole the meat before they dish for us and it was uh, satisfying because when she is done dishing we're like no it's fine we're going to eat but we know that what did we do we know <laughs> who hasn't stolen anything though like what i still think all the time for my sister so yes i guess i have um yeah other than that nothing extra maybe in secondary school where we steal things as well. Everybody is done the dog. I'm the champ. It's, my mom's cooking now, but I'm still stealing the meats. The water, water. Especially when she's cooking, like, as long as my nose is, is near the thing. <laughs> Piece will be missing right now. Cap. That's, that's me, you know? Like, I mean, stealing is everyone's thing. Like, you know? It might not be that thing, but come on, in the pots, it's going down. Okay. No cap. Uh. Yesterday, I stole my cousin's cake. Stole something? <laughs> it depends. Uh, yeah. if, it's like, if it's like a waffle in the house or something, then yeah. Like I stole, uh, it's not a, no, no. I, I wouldn't call it stealing. I'd if it's in my house, kind so. I'm borrowing it to my stomach. <laughs> That's what I would call it. Okay, yeah. But like, I just, yeah. Like, pro like it was when my mom made waffles. And then like she went in the room, so I just took an extra one, you know, because like I wasn't satisfied. But yeah. Not really. Ooh, when it comes to stay, when I it comes have, to that, by the way. The, the king. I have, by the way. The king is home. I have, you know, the king is home. Of course, <laughs> I stole a lot of things. 
pen pencil. Oh. You know, you can name name whatever you can steal it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I'm not. I'm not a thief, by the way. I'm not a thief. You know, Who steals? It, it just it just things that you just okay. You don't have a pen, you know. Nah. You have to take your pen. I call it take. I don't call who it steals, steal. I who call steals, it take. Who steals the PlayStation? <laughs> who steals the PlayStation? That he steals the PlayStation. He exchanged. Buddy. It was not stealing. It was exchanging though. We, he took his friends play um PlayStation. He took ours because ours could not read. You know that time of play PS2. When when your CD keeps on rotating inside, it's not reading the 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 the, the disc, and that makes you angry. So when he came over, his one was working. So I told him, "What? Let us exchange." So we did. The credit came. Woo! Ah <laughs> ah, uh -uh. that was a bad experience, though. Very bad experience, by the way. <laughs> Still in PlayStation. So the next question say, um, never have I ever gone to the bathroom and never washed my hands. Uh if if I didn't wash my hands, then I, I probably just wouldn't remember. But I usually wash my I I do wash my hands. That one, yeah, yeah. I have done it. I have done it. And I, yeah, I have done it. I I do it every time. But now since we have Corona. I do wash my hands. We also have hand sanitizer. So now I just wash my hands. But before, I was like, especially if I'm having my phone, sometimes I do wash my hands, sometimes I don't. So, but now I do because I don't like this question. I think I have, I should have actually because, I mean, sometimes consciously you may not, it's not like I do it often, but I'm sure I have, I'm sure I have. <sighs> Uh, for this pandemic, I'll never wash my hands, bro. Besides, if it's number two, yeah. I mean, like, if I done number one, I you know, was there to wash. I mean, I didn't touch nothing besides, you know. That's <laughs> just me, you know. I mean, I was there standing. That's it, and I went out. Why should I wash my hands? Why am I finishing water? Why am I wasting water? Yeah. Um, yeah, sometimes when I'm stressed, I Um, probably I was little, I didn't wash my hands. I was very little, okay? Yeah, nope. when I was tiny. What's wrong with you, bro? Okay, no, but, no, but yeah, when I was, not that I remember though, but like probably when I was younger. I remember the few times when I was like, when I was in like, oh, great, oh. That's gross, dude. Okay, okay, yeah, kid. okay, great, oh, okay, yeah. Kid. Same, yeah, me too. Ah, ah, ah! Always wash your hands, man. That's the first thing you do after. I know. The, the thing is normal. Not not every every day that you do wash your hands, but so you don't wash your hands. It's a good. Not every day that you do wash your hands, but you know, people that that says I have never those are people that lie. They lie. The heart, the heart tells them the truth. <laughs> like not always that you wash your hands. It depends, of course. If you go pee, you don't need to wash your hands. You know, not the biggie, but now since the the COVID. Came, you know, people really need to wash their hands for real, for real. Like, wash your hands every day and every time. 20 seconds, guys. 20 seconds. Yeah. Keep your hands in water. Must always, must always wash your hands. Keeping it, keeping them clean. Never ever ever eaten food that fell on the floor. No. No, 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 no. I don't like doing that. No. Obviously, the five second rule. <sighs> yeah, because of the pandemic, I've stopped. But if you don't for this lockdown, I was going to continue. Okay, but I was going to go. Like, I mean, five second rule. Imagine your drumstick falls, okay? You're going to leave it. Nah, it fell in. Crazy boy. Eat the top part. You see the top and that? Yeah, eat the part which never fell. I mean, everybody does that. Who doesn't do that? Everybody does that. Uh, back then, I used to do that, not now. Yep, I, I think I did about two days ago. I Ew, bruh. Nah, not, not food from the floor. That's gross. I think I did it with the waffle or something. Nah. Uh, guys, uh, because it was a five second rule, guys. Write in the comments if you think that's applied. Nah, that's gross, dude. But yeah, write in the comments if you think that's normal to eat food off the floor. Nah, Just even if it's five seconds. Second. Nah, dude. That's not okay. Well, yes, I have actually. But like, I tried to obey the five second rule, but. Sometimes you just want to pick it up, like, what's that? I, it is my food. Hello, I'm going to take it and I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to eat it, okay? Mm-hmm. 
like it's something like biscuits falls on the floor i'm definitely picking that shit up it's something like maybe a gum that i've not started chewing and depends on the floor actually if you like tiled floor yeah fine i'm going to pick it up but i'm not talking about on the street where there's sand and no no don't do that mm -mm, that's very 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 nasty okay mm -hmm. so yeah i have actually hurry i have Whereas, definitely, who wouldn't eat food that fell from the floor, bro? Guys, I was literally hungry. I remember when I was coming from school, I was hungry and I bought something. And you know when you buy something, that's the only thing you have and it falls from the floor. You know, three second thing, pick it up immediately. The three second rule, by the way. That's a rule that you should always stick. Then I took that, you know, I but, ate it up. Like but, but I believe that the three second rule um, doesn't imply anyway because like if your 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 food falls on the floor mm -hmm. like it takes one time like one, one time, time. That the dirt gets on your foot so yeah so i have done it you know quick, quick, maybe yep. something but not really something that's that sand or yeah. anything you can get on it so quickly but maybe a lollipop then you yeah, pick up the maybe. head to go wash your lollipop and then back in your mouth you know yeah because you can't just a uh, brand new lollipop just fell and you think you're gonna, leave that, you're gonna leave that lollipop on the floor <laughs> now nah, you pick that thing up go wash it never ever ever Falling asleep on the bus and past my station. Okay, so I've only been on. I've only like used the bus going from from Polokwane to to Johannesburg. So it's like I have I have enough time to take a nap. So never. <laughs> okay, I have a story. It was no, it was not a bus, but I was in a taxi uh, from school. I was from school. It was late. It was Friday. I was doing primary grade six and i was tired you know on friday we, we are cleaning at school so it was a friday i was tired i was going home i was going to my granny and i catch a taxi i just fall asleep in a taxi and then the taxi driver and passengers passengers they didn't even wake me up but they didn't know what in clear go be like where am i supposed to 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 what to Shiga. <laughs> they didn't know. So the driver just passed by with me and I was like, I woke up when I woke up, I was like, oh my god, driver, I need to get off. I need to get off. They were like, why? I'm like, I need really like Melon Kligan. You guys just passed by where I'm supposed to to Shiga. <laughs> so yes. Mm, never. I don't even take bus or no. Nope. Exactly. Nah, I've missed my, my station, yes, but not because I fell asleep. Hmm. I have actually. When I was in secondary school, so there was a time, it's going to be a long story. So, yeah, I have fallen asleep in a bus. Oh my god. They took me to a place I did not know, like at all. And I got home very, very late on that day. I was crying and I was just telling my mom, I don't know where they took me to. I was ask, asking people around. I started crying. I was asking people around, please, this is where I'm going to. This is the bus I took to this place. I fell asleep and I don't even know my way out. You guys just said dumb days though, but mm -mm, not now, not anymore. I never took a bus, but I took the school bus. But. At least I'm safe home. So no. Yeah, especially in winter. I use metro bus, so especially when it's for the six, the double deck. As long as I'm at the back and on top. <laughs> Time I wake up is when like it's like I'm falling. You know the dream when you wake up like like as if you're falling like <laughs> boom. Then yeah, maybe that. But the other like if it's in winter, I know. I station I'm going to pass the thing. There's no way I'm gonna wait unless maybe they annoyed me in the morning. Yeah, and then I can wake up. Yeah. Ever have you ever um lied to my parents about where I'm going? Bro. <laughs> all the time. Okay, not all the time, but I usually do. I usually do. Why not? There mustn't okay. But then obviously I let my friends know where I'm going. I don't wanna lie to you guys. You when I was a teenager, okay, I was not uh, a troubled teenage or um down or somebody was ugly. So I once did lie to my mom and then I told her that I'm going to do an assignment with my friends. You guys know okay, man, you have the story and you know that you're not going to do other assignment. You just wanna see open money, open money because you guys look like, I'm packing for like three hours. <laughs> 
<laughs> I have a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember the one time when all my friends were going to the swimming pool. And then I my mom did not allow me. So I was like, you know what? Let me use the brains. You know what? Let me say I'm going to study at this guy's house. But actually I snuck out, took well, yeah, I told my friend to ask my mom. My mom said no. And then I was like, you know what? Let me just say we're going to start. Let's cancel this. Like always. We go there. And so this guy, I don't know if he remembers, but obviously, like, I said we we're going to start at his house. We didn't. I gave him my clothes for the swimming water, water, and then boom, went to the swimming pool. This is what it is, bro. Everybody has done that. Who hasn't? Like, you cannot say you're living on planet Earth and you've never done that. Yo, I hope my mom wants to see this video. Uh, I usually lie about where I'm going. I usually say I'm going to my friend's house or I'm going out with friends. I just can't tell my mom that see I'm going to my boyfriend or I'm going out with my boyfriend. Nope. nope. For me, I'm holy. Cap. Cap. Every time, man. I mean, like, if you've never liked your African parents or where you're going, mm, mm, honey, your parents, mm, your parents must be nice. Hmm. No, I have not. I have lied, like, I lie with my friends' names all the time. I usually text him where I'm going because usually I only have like three friends, so they're fine. All the, not all the time, but most times I have lied, like, mm, don't blame me guys, it's just one of those things that you do, you know. Mm -hmm. Guys, um, first rule, if you didn't like your parents before, then, you, then I don't know you lie. Deep down your heart, you lie, you know that. You know your parents are going to allow you to cross that gate for telling the truth. You will never leave the door if you tell them. If you tell them, I'm going to my friend's house, they will let you. But you know, no, deep down, you know when you're a friend, <laughs> you're going somewhere else. Always, always. So, you know, you gotta make up a lie, you know. Normally, I always use, I'm going, to, I'm going to study, or I'm going to a birthday party. <laughs> birthday party is what I always use. Have you ever message the celebrity hoping that he or she will reply? He still replies, baby. Yo... I had a crush on just I had a crush on Justin Bieber. <laughs> when I was on my teenage stage, I had a crush on Justin Bieber so bad. And I would even text him and be like, I love you. I wish I can meet you. This and this. I wish I wish he just replied me. Guy one in Like I, I would be so happy. But anyway, he's married now, so Gone deal, gone, gone, gone. <laughs> you know the closest of God was when they viewed the message, but they don't. They don't reply. They just viewed it. Like, yo, like, damn. Cause like, and it was after like how many months? Not even hours, minutes, days, months. And I said, okay, he viewed it, but did not reply. Like, how, how, how occupied are you just to say, yo, what's up? Just come back. No, just no. I've done that a lot of times, especially with YouTubers, because like I want to gain subscribers. So I'll go to like maybe like Nate or Pre Boyfriend or something like that. I text them. I'll text, I'll take let's say they upload a video that's like dope. Everybody's like, oh it was dope, it was it was fire. I'll go I'll comment on that video and stuff, but they will never reply. But you'll see them um doing me screenshotting that message uploading to their story about somebody else who commented. And I com commented the same thing, but she did not say anything. Did not even view the message, like how down low am I to you? How dumb though. Cut. Two years back, I sent a message to August Elsina on Facebook. I sent about five messages and he never replied. <laughs> never have I ever. I think I missed it. It was Dwayne Johnson a few years ago. I think I was in grade five. I think I was in grade five. Yeah. Ah. When I tried. No, grade six, I think. So I tried to press it to Johnson and obviously he didn't reply. So, ah, you know. for me I um, tried it once was Moses. Uh, you know the TikToker Moses? Yeah, I tried it with him. I told him what's up. He did not answer my face. <laughs> and yeah. yeah okay. This was about I think. Yes. Are you a grande? 
Nope, she did not reply. Of course I have. Like I've messaged um not really messaged though. I said I replied like on Instagram, I replied to their I at their IG story hoping they'll reply or not. But it's just fan love really. Like, oh you look so pretty. Not really something deep, not like I'm just going to pick up my phone and be like, oh, today I'm going to message to Kemak okay, well, I'm obsessed with that video. Today I'm going to message to Kemak okay, well, I'll be like, oh, Hi, this is this that, that, that. Mm -mm, no. But like when they post on their IG story, I, I just like reply and I'm like, just like you look nice, I love you. You get me? Bye. Yes, I did. What did I, you message? I actually messaged you Zlatan. Don't blame me, I was just a smaller boy. And <laughs> <laughs> you never replied. You blue take me. <laughs> On Instagram. On Instagram, obviously. Where can you email them? I mean, where can you DM them? So what? What? What did you write? I don't. I don't. Hey, Zlatan. This is Patrick, a big fan. Can you please give me a shout out? Ah, ah. It's sad. I hope you read it, but I'm sure you read it though. But for me, I, I don't think I sent anyone a message. That's I think, a okay, maybe one. That's a lie. But when it comes to celebrity, I know the celebrities will not, will never reply to your message. But I always, always tag them in my, on my, on my Instagram. You know, it's just a tag, Guys, um, story tag. So that's what I do a lot. I always do that. I but I never send them like a, a message, like a direct message. I disagree with I you never. directly because any, everyone has has I, sent a. Uh, celebrity a message hoping I, I, that they reply. I know. I've never. So deep down, deep down is hard. He knows. I'm a he big knows. boy. So I, let's, I, I, let's not embarrass ourselves because you no. you said. No. I can, you just don't want to embarrass yourself. I know yourself that the, the celebrity camera, will I know. never ever answer the message. No, but there's still so a chance. It's, it's a chance of 50-50. There's, no, there's no chance of 50-50. It's a 50-50 chance. But I you always never know. do tag them in my story. Even now. Even now tag. Today. Tag it goes in as. As a but as a DM as a DM type of notification, yeah, it they goes get in the DM, DM. But, but I, it's not they like still a ignored, they still ignored you. Yeah. You know, they, it's a, it's just a tag. Fact, so the, fact. There's the, no facts here. It's a fact. They, they ignored so, yeah. you. But I normally tag Quavo in my, on my story most of them. Did he ever? The did he ever react on it? Of course not. Yeah. He's a celebrity. And but I've never seen him. At least I know the baby reacted. I have my react. Reacted? Yes. So good nonsense. Oh. So let's move to the next question. <laughs> Never have I ever sang or danced in a shower. I do that a lot, but sometimes you know, you just need one those moments in the shower. You know, you're holding the wall, and then the water just comes and just yeah. Singing, I love dancing. So when I'm in the shower, I'm like, this is my time, girl, to shine because I am the judge. So I love doing that. I dance, I sing in a shower. I love them, but look. Hey, bruh, if it's in winter, I won't bath. You see, like, if it's in winter, I won't bath. I'll be listening to music. Boom, play, speaker, chip, in there until the water gets cold, and I'll just, I don't know, my arm pits and stuff. Plays down all those thinking from near people, and like my ears, because, like, you know, people, like, if you talk more something for me, just chick, 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 chick. My mouth got water, and I'm done. And I'll be dancing the time, especially in the tub in, in June. Mm. I usually do that sometimes when I'm bored or when I'm in the mood. So yeah. Of course. Same. Same. I'm saying, but yeah, not dancing. Yeah, not dancing same. is just weird. Anyways, guys, I only sang because I have a beautiful voice. Nah, he's lying. Do you guys wanna hear me sing? Okay, okay, we'll do this, guys. Don't go. Wait for the end of the video. Sing, sing. And then you guys let me know in the comments if you think he's a good singer or not. They call me Drake back in the day. They call me Drake. Honey, honey, who has it? Like, I want to know one person that has never danced or sang in the shower because, honey, hmm, I have actually, I have like so many times. Yes. Well, see, I get bored in showers and I think everybody does it. Not being ashamed of it. The only time I danced in the bathroom was the, the day before we went for the Sunday school dance. So I didn't know the dance yet. I wasn't. I didn't know the, the moves yet. So I had to practice the moves even when I'm bathing or when I'm doing anything. I, I don't dance in the bathroom by the way. I sing a lot in the bathroom. You know. You know. Sometimes the people like bring the phone in the bathroom and they put music. Nah, I don't do that. 
I'd rather sing. I'd rather sing with my boom. I would. I don't do bring my phone in the bathroom. I let it charge. And then the last question says, never have I ever dated two or more people at the same time. If you know, you know. You? Hey, Ha 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 ha. Hey, Uncle Bully. Uncle Bully, Ah ah. Zero. No. I don't remember doing that. Let me think about it. But I think in primary I did date two boys at the same time. But no. I have never done it. So I'm loyal for me. No cap. I'm loyal for me. That's why I'm never. Even my first girl, those are my first girl, so like I haven't cheated. And if I would, I find that very I'm gonna say that very downgrading on myself. Like, what's wrong with me? Why can't I just keep up with one girl? But I mean, <laughs> that's what like, yeah. This is how I ended up dating two people at the same time. Nope, never dated. Only single and probably will be. No, I have not dated. Nah, I haven't dated um, more than one person. We st Real men don't cheat. Guys, this is the our last, um, the, the, that was our last question, so. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. We've got to the end of this question. We had a wonderful time to answer these questions. And yes, we enjoyed this. And please do give this video a big thumbs up. And drop a comment down below. And what your thoughts are according to what we have responded in this question. So thank you guys. If you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Press the subscribe button. And hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time we drop a new bang. Another banger. Gustavo is... Peace. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below.